Look at Jules doing all the work. Welcome to Curiosity Public. My name is Dutch. My name is Jules. Delightful, positive Dylan. Demeaning Dylan. <laughs> and welcome to yet another episode of our Ultimate First Competition, <laughs> Competition, our quest to review every sipping spirit on the face of the planet, subjected to our crazy hard 100 point scoring system. And in this episode, we're drinking barrel bourbon, 15 year old, gray label. Beautiful box, but a horrible box. Because you see that blue tape down there? That's because the box ripped. Because you know why? When you pick up this box, the bottle falls out. So if the bottle just sticks a little bit and you pick it up to here, oh my gosh, a $200 bottle of bourbon just falls in your hands. Um, so barrel, again, what are you guys doing? This is Throw some a magnets. liability. Absolute crap. Okay. <laughs> it actually fell down the stairs. <laughs> um, but anyway, the bottle actually Dang. looks quite nice. It's a typical barrel bottle, uh, but it's got this nice gray motif to it with the big gold bourbon there. It's cool. Over 10,000 bottles of this 15-year-old blend of bourbons. 100.4 proof, 50.2% alcohol. I believe it's a blend of different sources. Uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, and Indiana distillate. So there's there's probably Dick Cole in here. So Dick what? Dickel, MGP, and, and some some bourbon distillery. Heaven Hill probably. Bart Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know that much about it. Now I did get this at Costco for I think one ninety nine. So that's about nice. the cheapest you can find it for. Um, usually, like you said, two fifty is kind of the going rate. Gets marked up sometimes. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people pass on this just because of the price point, but is it going to be worth it? Well, also, there are there's another 15-year 100 proof that comes out every year as well. Oh, this one right here, the Knob Creek 15? Yeah, isn't that 100 proof? It is. It's exactly 100 proof, and it is 15 years old. And um, for members of Curiosity Private, thanks for the tease there, Dylan. We're going to be comparing these two after this video. So stick around for that if you're a member. If you're not a member and you want to see content like that, Please consider joining. It's Why great. are we doing that? Because the price is so... Yeah, price on this 99 bucks. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, come on. Twice the price, this better be twice as good. I'm gonna get us poured. Dylan, you got anything else? Mm, no. Actually, you know what? I don't like the the, the gray. The I like label? it. Label? Yeah, I don't know. I think it looks classy. For like people who, who camp and stuff, like gray water means something. It's like you get gray bourbon. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. Okay. That's They're not camping, weird. dude. That's RVing. So in order for this to be fair, because it is 15 Clamp. years old, I think we should pour our Knob Creeks now. Okay. Oh. Just so it, we'll let them sit over here on the okay. side. You know, we got to compare apples to oranges. I mean, orange, apples, orange to orange. What is it? How does it go? Pears to pears? All right, guys. We're going to get tasting. Um, mm. We're going to score. And we'll be back to discuss it in a jiffy. <sighs> Wow, that's really interesting. Oh, it's interesting? Did you hear Dylan just say it's interesting? He always says that. It's a tough one. Yeah, it is. Really it's... tough. Because you're biased against Burrell? A little bit. And I'm trying Look to... over there. There's no bias over here. And I'm positive, remember? Very, very, very... Demeaning Dylan? I'm trying to pretend like this is something I've, I've never tasted before and somebody just handed me a random But you box. don't know the name. Yeah. Because I do feel that about barrel a little bit. And I do feel that about Dickel. So I'm like, okay, I know there's Dickel in here and I'm trying to like stop my mm. brain from looking for it and just tasting it for what it is. Yeah, I hear you. That's why I waffled. Yeah. Okay, guys, we've had some time to taste. We've had some time to score. Jules is now going to read to you all 10 of our scoring categories, which is going to be very difficult for him. <laughs> this is true. Um... 100 points across 10 categories, so about 10 points each. Uh, include about. aroma, flavor, body complexity, balance, finish, uniqueness, drinkability, aesthetics, and value. However, flavor, we weigh at 20 points, and aesthetics and value at 5 points each. And you can medal in our competition if you score 60 and above. We go from bronze, silver, gold, to diamond. All right, initial score time. To reveal our initial scores to each other, of course, we're going to discuss it. Things can change. My initial score, 76. Wow, 71. 78. 
Okay. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. yeah I think Jules is... We're getting the silver. Out at you're off. Here. Yeah, you're, you're off. off. Uh, let's kick things off with our discussion of I'm aroma. The correction. Uh, I was actually picking up things on the nose that I was having trouble figuring out what they were, but they were so interesting I kept going back in, and it was very pleasant. Nine. I give it a seven. You know, I just want to say that the aroma that I have here, um, very, it's kind of um, similar to some of these other 15 year releases with that kind of fruit and um, like the, the honey and the pleasant, uh, you know, a hint of floral notes. The reason why it's not a nine or a 10 is because out of like 10 times, if I nose this 10 times, one of those uh, instances, I get Off. this very weird Off. medicinal smell. So nine out of 10 times you like it, so it should be a nine. So it's like, okay, that's a little off. And then on top of that, the wood component is just slightly off. And again, it's like... So I know what you're saying, but to me that wood thing red is leather. And I was getting orange, and I was getting orange fruit leather, mm -hmm. and then I'm getting some of this caramel on top of it. I was very surprised with how much I like this nose. I'm really surprised. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I tried this before. I think you and I opened this on a live. Don't remember this being nearly as good of a nose. But orange fruit leather, think that and sniff it again. I think the room is positive. Yeah, I think it is I very do. positive, yeah. yeah. I think this is a little too low for you. I disagree. You, you got to admit that it's... <laughs> You were going in deep. I was like, oh, he's actually going to come yeah, out of this and change it. It's mind. really pleasant. It's, it's above yeah, it um, is pleasant. an average it's a seven. release. Uh, I don't know, man. I think, this, I think there's more going on here. You don't get this kind of oak in a seven. Like this yeah, is You don't a get deep... this from the non-H stated releases yes. these days. You get a deeper something. I get that tinge I agree. every now I agree. and then. I get like something that's weird. And that's why. Uh, I mean, come on. Consistency here. <laughs> Okay, all right, moving on to flavor. Uh, a lot going on, 17. 17. 17. We all agree, what? look at that. Yeah, I got like that very distinct long. oak, very distinct grain. The grain hit me first. And I think that's what, per hit, that's what stopped me from going any higher, but grain, oak, and light sweetness. That's kind of the order that things came in. Mm -hmm. There's other things in there. There's some spice and, and other things, and it's, it's good. There's a lot going on here, but it... it um, See, for me, the oak hit one me more. Uh, <laughs> mid to end. Yeah, I agree. And yeah, and 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 that's where it's like, uh, like at first I was really enjoying it, so I even waffled between eighteen, but ended up at seventeen. So yeah. I get grain first. I want to give I want to give them um, credit for blending three different uh, distillery products. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Um, and it and it's and it's actually uh, I have to give them kudos for that. I think the issue I had was similar to the aroma in that. You know, every time I, I tasted it, it was very weird. It was like different yeah. in terms of the, the flavor profile. It was just kind of like if you have a spectrum of flavor, mm -hmm. right? And you're basically going like, if I this is the bracket, the it, it, of flavor. It, it's kind of like this. <laughs> like there's a, there, it kind of uh, waffles from side to side. It does waffle. Yeah. And, yeah, I agree with that. And so because of that, it couldn't score higher. I wish there was more consistency. It's not about like being unpleasant. Mm -hmm. I'm, I was looking for more consistency. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what Unlike the flavor. you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I also, I feel like at some level we all <laughs> weren't. <laughs> like peanut gallery. Yeah, like little tiny exactly. little. Tiny little peanuts. Anyway, we weren't, I, I feel like we weren't able to put this in a box. And that's part of what made it hard to go higher. Mm, yeah. You yeah. know, because it did move a little bit. And it also didn't fit any of the traditional bourbon Flavor profiles that we know, but should we be knocking it for that? Shouldn't no, 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 no. I don't think so. It does fall. Are we knocking box. it like unconsciously for that? Probably, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah. So just add one to everything, guys. All right, uh, moving on to body. Uh, the heft of this was okay for me. Seven. I actually struggled with this one. I gave it an eight originally, but ended up at a seven. I gave it an eight. I thought it was a Again. good body. Mm -hmm. Again, like good. I always worry when they yeah. mix good, too many great. things that the body just kind of becomes a really bad thing. Yeah. That's the one thing that was a little, you know, pretty consistent. Mm -hmm. It's not the best. Not yeah. the best. You know, it's not, not like a syrupy thing. No. It, it's, no. it's good. It's decent. Good. It's eight. All right, moving on to complexity. I wrote down oak because mm. oak was oak so mom. much here. Eight. I give it a seven. I gave it a seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, I don't know, man. This kind of oak. You don't get this kind of nice, well-rounded, 15-year-old oak. Not tannic. Um, and I gave it bonus points for that. The sweetness was nice. The spice was nice. The sweetness grain was nice. nice. That's four big flavors. And they're all here. Mm -hmm. They're very present. And I think 
I think both of you guys deserve to give it okay. the credit there. I mentioned the mm. spectrum, right? Mm -hmm. And the, I said, let me show you that it's like <laughs> right here and it's going back and forth. That's why it's narrowed, right? Uh, so at times, like at times it would miss the, f it would be missing the floral component. At yeah, times, I even like, I would, I would even get like the one wood. No, I would, no, no, no. There's always oak here. There's you know what the other here. problem was? I couldn't pick out the fruits. Like, mm. it's just kind of like a fruit. No. And you know what? Okay. You were talking about variations of, like, the preparations of fruit. Sure. Yeah, there's jam and there's a stewed fruit so. component. Yeah, that. But you know, I'm not getting, like, the grape. I'm not getting, like, the apricot. I'm not getting, like, the peach. It's just mm -hmm. the fruit. Mm -hmm. It's like summer fruit. That's mm -hmm. what I was getting. So that's why. It's seven. Okay, who cares? Mm -hmm. Anyway, point being here. Mm -hmm. Oak. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Grain. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Floral, comp you're basically saying, oh, well, I didn't get enough floral, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to give it anything higher than a seven. That's BS. No, you didn't listen to anything I said. Mm -mm. I said, Did you? the problem is, mm -mm. if the spectrum, if this, <laughs> wait, I have to get like this. If the spectrum's yeah. like this, you're basically tasting, it's going like this. Uh, I, going I, like I this. completely disagree. You're it's writing, like on, you're writing mm -hmm. it off because of one category, which is fl floral, basically. You're no. writing it off completely because you didn't get that. No, that's check fine. the tapes. Check the tapes. There's no tape on this either. I took the tape off when I opened the box. <laughs> All right, guys, moving on to balance. Um, we on balance? Yeah, balance. Yeah. Uh, I, I think what was here, mm -hmm. especially because of the oak, I gave it an eight. I gave it an eight. This yeah. is where you, you're yeah. supposed to score To balance this, this oak, mm -hmm. which is 15-year-old oak, which is a hard thing to get perfectly balanced, I think they actually balance the oak very, very well. It's not, a, it's not 9 or a 10 because it does waffle, but when it's in, even in those different kind of uh, parts of that spectrum, yeah. mm. you know, I, I, I get hats off, man. Yeah. Nothing like was really off-putting. No. Like, I can't say that something yeah. is like, oh, I'm not yeah. going to drink this anymore. Yeah. It's a different experience every time, but... Okay. The mm. reason Jules needs to go up a point mm -mm. is because of the oak. When you have this much oak... It is, it trends so much to get over oaked and to get bitter or to get tannic. And they did a perfect job of blending that out. And I, no. I think you have to give them credit for that. They did a good job. And that's why it's a seven. You get tannic? You that's get tannic? Because it does waffle. No, no, no. Do you get point, tannic? Every now and then, you it do. does waffle. You do get tannic? To where I get a hint of that tannic. And mm. then it's just not consistency in balance. You know what? I'll, I'll and support that's you on why that. there no, is I'm panic. serious. There is, it, there is. There's a drying. You're component. just yeah, yeah. like my mouth gets dry. All right, guys, moving on to finish. Mm -hmm. Good, not great. Seven. 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 Yeah. This is where I didn't like it as much. I, I wanted this to be better. Yeah. I wanted the finish to be better. You know what happened? There was a bitterness. Yes. Sometimes I didn't get I, that. There was a bitterness, and um, sometimes I just, I'd get like the tannic on the finish. I just got things dropping off too quickly. It was so weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's a drying component. The fade is. Inconsistent as well, so it's yeah, seven. This is good. All right, guys, uniqueness seven. Seven. I gave it an eight, and I'll tell you why. Go tell ahead. us. All right, so three different companies, right? They mm -hmm. got it from three different sources. Most places screw that up. It's very Who screws unique. That up? It's very unique. Who screws that up? It's very unique Who screws that up? for a company to get. And wow. get those different types of um, uh, bourbon, Bardstown does it all the time, and do it Old right. Old Carter and do it right. Kentucky and, Owl. And for 15 years to get 15 year of three different types of they got 15 year. That's why they get a seven. I gave it an eight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And you know I gave it an extra point because oh, here we go. Because Dutch. Dutch mm -hmm. gets so bothered by the box. He talks about the box all the time. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna give it an extra. <laughs> it does, me. I gotta take it down me. a point in aesthetics because it does of the bother box. me. Yeah, that's what extra. I mean. All right, moving on to drinkability. I waffled between a seven and an eight. I ended mm. up at a seven. I don't really know why. I ended up at an eight. I gave it an eight. It's a soft eight. You soft. And, eight. and, the, and the thing is, would I go for this or would I go for the all the other fifteen years? I th this one, oh, right? Man. Yeah, I don't know. Because now is, you know, like I'm getting that little. Here's little the thing. Bitterness it's, but it's but there are moments when it's good. Yeah, and it's like okay, yeah. I can keep that's going. Why, that's why. I, I but then going, I get hit, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh. I keep going back to it because I'm like, yeah. okay, this is interesting. It's, yeah. it's not playing the same game every single time. Right. I like it. I liked that about. That it. is what's intriguing. Uh, should I go back up? Should I go up there? <laughs> you 
could drink this. Yeah, you yeah. would. Drink this. I'm gonna go back up to an eight. Yeah. I'm gonna go back up to an eight. You would. All right, guys, aesthetics. I did drop this to a three. A three. I gave it a four. I had a four, but you reminded me of the box. No, the box. I like the bottle. The box is and so bad. Yeah, I had to the drop it. The box is so bad, and it. then I'm kind of like Dylan talked about it earlier, like the gray label thing. Well, it's feel the cap weird. too, because this this is also like, elevates elevates. It's like a semiconductor. Oh, I do like the weight. Or a superconductor. Oh. Sorry. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. All right, three point five. Oh, we don't do that. Three, <laughs> four. <laughs> It's a four. I understand a three or a four. I, do. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the box really bugs me, so I do have to yeah, the keep box. it. Yeah, the box. All right, guys, final category, value. A little tricky. I, I waffled a bit, but I me ended too. up with a two. I started with a three, and it had, or started, uh, ended going to a two, and then ended at a one. So three, two, one. Go on. Yeah, I mean, I went back and forth, back and forth between a two and a three. $250. This is, this is very, very, very expensive. Two hundred. Yes. Fitty bones. I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good though. Like, again, I, it is, I don't but... feel let down by it, but I don't feel, oh, amazing value. No. It's still good bourbon. And I don't want people to walk away from this thinking it's not good. It's still good bourbon. It's and not going to walk away. It's hard good. To swallow. But 200. Yeah, but if for like good, in this 250 age, for, for a good. 15 year age dated, that's just what you expect. 15 year, your, 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 I mean, the, the MSRP on this is more expensive than Pappy Man Michael. <laughs> yeah, but come on. You can actually find this for MSRP. You can't ever That's find true. Pappy for MSRP. So, I don't know. I, I, I waffled, and I understand even the three. I do understand that. Yeah, and I understand I, the I do one, get the but, three. Um, and of course, I mean, the that. only reason I was, I, was, I like pushed it up to three because I was once again thinking about Kentucky Owl prices yeah. and how ridiculous that price is. N none mm -hmm. of us are going to buy this again. Yeah, I'm not. That's why it's a one or a two. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, yeah. you know, am I going to go buy this? If I did, then I think I would have stayed at the three. Yeah. I probably want to just drink uh, Dutch's, yeah. like, you know. Whatever. Drink my bottle. Yeah. But at the same time, none of us would drink this and say, oh, that's bad whiskey. Exactly. It's exactly. still so that's very why, good whiskey. That's why I, I yep. give it a two. All right, guys, let's get our final tally. I ended up at a 76. 71. 77. Which gives us our official score for the Curiosity Public Ultimate Spirits competition entry for Barrel 15 year old, the 2001 edition. 2021. 2021. You want to go back to 2001. I got to go back to 2001. 2001. I wouldn't be buying this. I would be buying everything else. Happy. 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 Yeah. Happy uh, the... So for the 2021 release is what I meant to say. <laughs> My brain's not working. 74. That's decent, man. Rock hard silver. Rock that hard silver. Decent. For two hundred and fifty dollars. Decent. Yeah. Well, you know, this would be double gold in everybody else's competition. Yeah, um, that's true. Still very serviceable, good bourbon. Overpriced. Jewels take us out. Tell us what you think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, just let us know. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Please consider joining Curiosity Private membership program here on YouTube. And we're also on Patreon. So you get early access to member-only videos and other things. And check out t-shirts. That's another great way. Links in the description. We have a podcast on the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Hey, stay curious. About the Compero. Let's do. I, I'm excited about this comparison. What do you guys think? I mean, any premonitions? I mean, because the price is so crazy different, right? Yeah. Price yeah. is crazy different. This nine, you know what I got? I got this $99 with a $10 coupon. I get it for $89. Bucks. Costco, yeah. $99. $89. Bucks. It's Definitely. too blue. Yeah, this is why you need to join Curiosity Private, guys.